My name is Peter and today we're having a look at a snowboard bag from XC Man, as you can clearly see here. Uh, it's not the first video we do, we had a look at their snowboard boot and ski boot bag uh, in a previous video. And actually I want to start with that because in that video I mentioned that there's two hooks here that you can actually use to attach it to this bag. So there are several lashing points on the bag, also on the back as I'll show you later. And you can just lash it on like so. And you have an integrated system. It's actually quite handy because obviously this bag has wheels so you can wheel your snowboards around. And then you just wheel it around like so and you have a complete travel system. So where these bags can certainly be used uh, individu individually and independent from each other, they do also work as a system where you can actually have the whole thing as a combination. So that's actually quite nice and quite clever. Now taking this one back off, putting it to the side, let's have a look at the bag. And I'll start with the back of the bag. Here you have several of those lashing points as well. You can see that there's a lot of loops and things where you can attach things to, which is very handy. Uh, but also you can see that this extra flap here is folded backwards. I've done this because there's two snowboards inside, as I'll show you in a bit. Uh, so you don't need this excess bit of space. Which is actually a nice feature compared to other bags that are sort of a whole bag that you can't really do anything with. You're always left with that extra bit of space if your snowboard is not the size of the bag. Uh, so it's actually quite clever from XC Man that you can lash this down, fold this part away if you don't need it. Now obviously you can fill it with a luggage or other things if you want to, as I'll show you in a bit as well. Uh, but in my case, uh, just put the snowboards in so this stows away nicely. And actually you have a nice extra carry handle this way as well. Also on the back we have the wheels and this is sort of a uh, hardened section obviously because you're going to bump and scrape this part the most. Uh, two wheels, nothing too crazy going on. Um, I would say that these are a bit on the thick side which is very nice on hard surfaces but I think they will struggle slightly when you go to deep snow. Uh, so that's something to take into consideration but then in deep snow you'll be uh, maybe walking to your accommodation with this bag um, so it's not going to be that far of a journey anyway. Uh, and in deep snow, you're most likely to just drag this bag around uh, to begin with. So, not really an issue. Then the bag itself, there's two snowboards inside, like I said. Uh, so let's open it up. There's a huge zipper pocket going all the way around. Opening up into the main compartment. It actually has a uh, shoulder loop strap that you can attach to the side. So that's actually nice that that's included as well. Putting that to the side, you can see that there is two snowboards here with room to spare. You can see how high the bag actually is. So there's a lot of room in here for luggage, for gear, for really anything that you need to bring on a ski trip. If you combine it with the boot bag, obviously your boots will not live in here. Uh, but you can imagine putting a boot here, putting a boot here, and your luggage, uh, your ski gear and everything else in the middle. Uh, and there's plenty of space because the bag is so high. Inside there is a lot of storage as well. You got zipper compartments here and on the side as well. Uh, so that's where things like your uh, gloves, your goggles, toiletries, really anything can live. Uh, again, depending on if you work with a separate bag for your boots, for example. You got two straps here with Velcro that you can use to lash things down. Now I got two snowboards in here, as you can see, uh, but obviously skis fit in here just as well. And then you even have more space available depending a little bit on if you store them with or without bindings uh, but there's so much space in this bag that it doesn't really matter uh, there's plenty of space really for anything so the only real choice that you have to make i think uh, with this bag is if you're bringing a separate bag for uh, other gear or if this bag alone is enough to store all your gear clothing and everything else now it's always hard on video to judge how big a bag really is so i got some pillows here and i got some snowboard boots so i'll put those in for reference and context. You can see it looks full, but you can imagine that this is your ski gear, uh, maybe some uh, everyday lounge gear or whatever for after your day on the slopes. Uh, the boots are something you're gonna have to deal with regardless, uh, and there's still plenty of space for bindings and everything else. Let me close this back up. You can see it fits no problem whatsoever and there's still plenty of give and extra space in the bag. So you can really stuff this to the max 
uh, with all your ski gear and to be more than fine with it. Obviously it's going to get heavy and since it's such a long bag with your boards or skis in it, it becomes a bit cumbersome, uh, but uh, you know, uh, if you slide this in the car or into a tour bus, all is well and you have everything in one place. Big carry handle here on the front, big carry handle on the side. You can attach the shoulder strap right here, which is nice. And there is a TSA approved uh, lock here. So you can actually lock the zippers in here uh, to make sure nobody can sort of access your bag on the fly. And it's TSA approved, so you can actually fly with this bag without issues as well. So that's actually a nice and complete uh, setup in terms of a snowboard bag. Personally, I quite like this style of bag as well. It's just functional, uh, nothing too flashy. Uh, I'm sure you can you know, put all kinds of customization stickers on it if you want to, but you know, just plain black and white with the logo here and the logo there. It's actually quite nice, nice and understated. Uh, the only thing that I don't like is the same thing that I didn't like with the boot bag, and that is the little uh, address tag here where you can write your name and your phone number on. I don't think this really works, it's too small anyway. Uh, put just a little you know, clear window where you can put a business card in. That would work better in my opinion. Uh, but all around, I think this is a bag that is quite nice. It's not too expensive, you know, like the uh, Burton or Dakine branded bags, for example. Uh, but it's nice and functional in what it is uh, without being cheap. Uh, so that's very nice. The price tag is not so high, but the, they certainly didn't skim on materials or functionality. So that is actually quite great from XC Man. Uh, I think the features are clever with the hook system, like I said here on the back, where you can customize the bag to your own needs. And with the extra loops and pockets, you can adjust this to everything that you might want to carry with you. Uh, it will only function when there is a snowboard or a pair of skis in here, because uh, apart from this little bit, which is strengthened and hard, uh, all this is just a uh, bag with no support in it as well. So it is not a rigid situation uh, at all. So without uh, snowboard or skis in it, this doesn't work um, as a travel bag at all, to be honest. Uh, which has pros and cons, you know, uh, if you have a stiff bag in general, you can put other things in there as well, if you might want to do so. Um, the benefit of this one is that you can actually fold it up completely and store it away for the summer when you're not using it. So that's actually also quite smart. All around, I think this board bag, especially in combination with the boot bag, is an excellent travel system from XC Man. I think it's super smart that you can actually click it together and use it as a set and still are, uh, have the option to use it separately from each other as well if you so desire. Because if you just go for a day trip, for example, and you just want to bring your gear to the slopes, this will work just fine. Um, the same thing with this, if you just go for a day, this will serve you quite well. If you go for a longer trip, in combination, you can bring all the gear that you need uh, without having to worry about any other bags, which is something I personally really like. Uh, I don't like it to have five, six, seven bags with me when I go on a trip. So a two bag system is perfect. Fits in the car, fits in the tour bus, fits in anywhere really. And for shorter trips, you can pick one or the other and pretty much carry anything with you as well. Because on uh, the board, the boot bag, you can actually uh, lash your board on it with these straps. The snowboard bag just by itself uh, is highly functional, very big. You can fit all your gear in here as well, like I said. Uh, nothing too crazy going on, which is something I like. So there's no speakers, no Bluetooth. No Wi-Fi building, nothing like that. Uh, it is a functional bag that does everything that you want from a snowboard bag without making too much of a fuss about it. Which is actually the kind of product that I quite like. Now XC Man is a company that sells more than just bags. They actually have a whole catalog full of ski and snowboard accessories. Anything from waxing kits uh, to snowboard bags and everything in between. So definitely worth checking out. Thank you to XC Man for providing these review units of course. I'll put the links in the description so you can find them quickly. That's all I have for you guys in this video. Please give it a thumbs up, that's always appreciated and check out XCMan to see if they have something for you. For now, thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next one. Cheers!